Alright, so we're off to Yosemite. I gotta finish packing. I got the car packed last night <laughs> until dark. And then I just have to do the clothes. <laughs> this is our pile of clothes and jackets left. So we're gonna get these in the car. I left room for them. On, I have a note on the door. So before I go out, I have a little note that says, Don't forget, don't forget your, <laughs> it's messy, your uh, phone, pillow, tablet, speakers for food. The tablet is for a bit to watch movies at night in the tent when he's tired, but he's not tired. <laughs> and then, uh, and I would never have done that for my other children because it was always about no technology. Never. We never had, they never even allowed to have cell phones. But Bit's a little bit different, as you know. So, he needs some, <laughs> um, Oh, let's get this car. And I almost forgot my smoke, my um, carbon monoxide detectors for my heater in my, my heater in my um, tent, my propane heater, buddy heater. I almost forgot to get that out. Uh, I have bit shoes right here, so don't let me forget them. I'm putting them down. These dogs get so excited. It's so excited. Oh, I was going to bring a box of wood, but they have wood there. The sky is pretty. I don't know if you can see anything. You can see my fence with my lights back there. There's, but the car's all packed. We're leaving at nighttime because we want to get to Yosemite early. It's Sunday, and there's cars. And we're not waiting three hours to get in the Yosemite. It's, even though it's fall, people are wising up. People are, see, I've always gone. I've always gone, you know, maybe around eight or 10 and been fine. <clears throat> but no, people have to start giving advice on when to go. And now everyone goes at the time. So I have to go even earlier. <laughs> and everyone's like, go in the fall. That's when I go. Now you're making it busy, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. <laughs> nice possible traffic here. Yeah, I think so. That's what it tells me every time I come right here. <laughs> it's kind of a bridge. The car tells me there's ice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We were leaving at five in the morning, but it took a, bit, a couple hours to get ready and um, we didn't get out until like 8. It's 8, eight o'clock. No, I changed that. It's 8 o'clock. Yes, it is. Yes. It's changed. It's the right time. Oh, wait. It's not 8. I changed my setting. I didn't change Sean's setting on the car. That's what I thought. <laughs> Beautiful fall colors. Look at that. Oh, and wow. then the, this is fire area. This is fire area. It's starting to recover. Yeah. It's getting some greenery. It's way better looking. Oh, it's way better here. It's yeah. Actually helped the probably help the ground. Well the trees if they lived um should recover slowly. The, Look at that. So pretty. The sun was shining in my eyes. The sun shines bright. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, some a bunch of funky trees again. They have another fire. Yeah. No, no, this that's the same one. But the one kind of back there more. That was the new one. By this is called Tunnel View. Was coming up. This is coming up. We still haven't yet to stop here. <laughs> I think maybe on the way out to uh, we can stop. Huh? Maybe we'll see. We never ever really stop. That's 
perfect picture right there. I need to do a puzzle. A little puzzle. I can take pictures for my video. You know? Babies, soupy. <laughs> it's eight thirty seven. We made good time. Tunnel view, one mile. Majestic view. Go slow, honey, so I can get the picture. Get the picture. It's actually better on the way out. The photo I get. <laughs> All right, bit. You don't need to be sick to your tummy now. <coughs> I don't know why it smells like choking. Alright, let's go have breakfast. Yes. We got here in time for breakfast, yeah. Good. Good, you hungry? <laughs> Good. Yeah, we hungry hippos. Hungry hippos! Mm. I really don't like it. I know. Big gets car sick, and his friend Hay um, Haley got him these little car sick wristband things. Um, what? Those, Haley gave you these little car sick wristband things and I can't find them. I took them uh, to Colorado and I don't know where they're at. Sorry, we need new ones. I don't even, I, I'm not sure if they worked yet. <laughs> Brideville Falls. They're still con doing construction on that trail. So normally on the way in, uh, on the 41 entrance, um, you could stop at before Yosemite Valley at Bryville Falls and do their little trail. It's a nice one, but it's closed. They're renovating it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? No Capitan. Yeah. El Capitan. Mountain. I think Alex Arnold climbed that without ropes in like an hour and 52 minutes. If you can believe that. That entire it's mountain. It's called free falling. Not free falling, it's free climbing. Free no, falling the video is he did. bad. Oh, yeah. Isn't it called free falling? Oh, no, I think it's called. There's uh, oh, the trail. Yeah. To Bryville Falls, but there's the falls right there. If you can see it through the trees, um, a little bit right there. Yeah. See, 
Look at all the parking. Hopefully we get Spot and Curry Village this morning. Because we forget there's people coming in on the other entrance. We're like, let's get in while we can right here. Don't realize you have to walk 100 miles. Oh yeah, they redid the bus routes to actually pick up in this area. The, right. Yeah, <laughs> you just have to, if you parked back there, I think you'd have to walk forever. There's still water going, that's good. Yeah. But I think they made the bus routes further out so on some of them. That's why it takes like an hour to do a loop yeah. on that purple one or the green one. I'm not sure. But you know how they, they made two different ones now? Yeah. It's a purple one. Yeah. All right. That's the entrance, guys. Okay, we're at Curry Village and Bit decided to throw up on accident. <laughs> he he made it right when we got here. Yeah. Are you okay, Bit? I just don't like it. I know, I know. Let's go jacket? eat. It's Curry Village where you eat. It's pretty cold, huh? A little chilly? When did you start doing that? Oh, Just now. So, we have... It has thermals and fleece and a jacket and it's still cold so we'll need another layer. Unless we're hiking, of course. <laughs> but we're not hiking right now. Here we go. Let's go have some breakfast. Going, but because you're generating electricity with your feet, it's, you're making energy. Who? Who? Everybody that walks. What is that supposed to mean? Everybody that walks makes energy. They have breakfast. All right, we're gonna get hot breakfast. Um, sorry. All right, honey. <laughs> mm, we have biscuits and gravy. Back, in the back of your chair. No, I don't want to. I will here. There we go, bit. We have biscuits and gravy and a side of bacon and. He's got something, I don't know what that is. And some coffee. The biscuits and gravy are pretty decent. I don't like the other stuff. <laughs> and the bacon's good. And Bit's laughing at the squirrel. <laughs> uh, no, we're done eating breakfast. <laughs> See, where's Bit? He's laughing at the squirrel over there. <laughs> We're done eating breakfast and now at Curry Village. Before we go, we have two hours till check in for our campground, so we're gonna go to Yosemite Village like we always do. We go just to the um, visitor center and check out the Indian Village, you know, tradition. <laughs> there we go. Bit, look at Mama. Is that cute, squirrel? But honey, watch him. There's cars coming. But and he's unaware of his surroundings, and if you don't watch him, he'll get ran over. We always have to make sure, especially around cars, that we're right by him because he'll just walk right out. Especially if he sees a line, he needs to tap. That's, <laughs> he just wants to, doesn't pay attention to nothing else. Anyways. Ah, honey, the bus. What? 
You yeah. said you just noticed it in the camera. Yeah, it looks red to me. Your beard's turning red. It's so pretty. We're waiting for the bus. Waiting for the bus. So, they come like tw every 20 minutes. We've been here right when the bus left. We I just try missed it. That's hurry, but you're like... <laughs> I told slow, you to run and catch slow it. Slow motion. It doesn't matter if I catch it, you <laughs> have to catch it. Uh, run the bus. It, Who's this person? I don't know. What? We're on the bus. We like the bus, huh? It's relaxing and warm. And then you get to not be on your feet, huh? Yes. So this is the new uh, welcome center. It's nice. By the village stores that way. Cool. So this, uh, the Welcome Center used to be in where they um, have the um, the area, I'll show you, I forget what it's called, but they have like um, an area where it explains Yosemite Valley and has like um, uh, pictures and all kinds of stuff. They got a little museum. Alright, let's go in here and look. Yosemite books. No food or drinks, no pets. The information center, so. Cool, it's really nice in here. They do a good job. They do a good job in here. I got a little bit of souvenirs. Alphabet book. Hmm. Cool, let's go look around. Yeah, so they d put a new bridge in. So we're, this is the village store. See, it's right by the village store. And then we're gonna go here and look for a tarp because we forgot a tarp. Yeah, that's why they're stopping over this way. Yeah, the bus stops used to be going through here. Huh. Well, let's go this way, honey. We're going to go to the store last, right? <laughs> Good thing. They're getting those cars here. I don't think cars go through here, but watch it still. Yeah. I don't understand why they just didn't believe it. It was fine how it looked. Well, Sebastian was actually in the in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They had porta potties there. Oh yeah, yeah. And looking at those pipes, I'm thinking they're gonna go. Well, which way's the way? Which way's north? Yes. Dad, which way's north? Bit likes to face north. If he's not but, facing north, he gets turned around and has to go in circles. But, but, but. So, so, but when I when I thing when I didn't thing was turning, I did just right. Yeah, you did okay, it so just right. Which way? Which way was it? Where are we? That way because they can go that way. Yeah, you go that way. Fine, yeah, you're just fine. So, so we turn around like two times. Yep, you turn two times. No, 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 that that guy said so I. Turned, like, no, you're north. No, you're... no, no. Like two times. Yes. Yes, it's fine. This is Dagnans. This is where Skylar worked. When he was... Skylar had his worst time ever. <laughs> Before the Marines. <laughs> he still says, it, he wrote from boot camp, he said, this is the worst, but it's still better than working at the Yosemite. <laughs> Why? I can't believe he's, he, he said it was torturous. <laughs> Just because... Well, he wasn't used to it. He went straight from... Oh, look at that waterfall right there. But no, it was a hiking. He did a lot of hiking with these people that... Well, I'm sure he hiked more than the Marines. 
But he said that there was a lot of weirdos working at the time, and he didn't like it. He didn't feel comfortable. But, yeah. But he loves the Yosemite. Like, he loves Yosemite, though. So, he just didn't like with him working here. <laughs> I worked. Here we go. There's the post office. And I worked at Ansel Adams and I, for the family. Yeah. And I was our secretary in town. And then we'd come and do inventory um, every so often and get to stay in the cabins here and work. <laughs> it was fun. I loved it. That's why I wanted my kids to work here. So they could have a good time. But wow. Yosemite Wilderness Center. This See, this used to be part of that. See, honey? They combined the Wilderness Center and the, the uh, Welcome Center together. I haven't been in here since I worked, and I won't go in there. <laughs> this is a taking inventory. A lot of hours. But I, I swear it was a different place, honey. Did they move it? They just re they redid it, huh? So this is what they're redoing. They're remodeling this. This is where um, I think this is close to. This is what I'm saying. What is it? They have fake volcanoes. They have examples. It's like a like a walkthrough of how the evolution of Yosemite, basically. And this, they're they're expanding on this, honey. So they said the movie theater is open still. So this is where the it used to be. I wish it was still here. Now that's where the bus stop usually goes. Right here. That? that bus stop still runs here, I think. Oh. That? And it's just a crack in the ground. Oh, nice. Probably dirt. Look. Um, uh, oh, a filter, a water filter. Hmm. Come on. You don't need to touch it. <laughs> I know. I'm so glad we came here before the afternoon because everyone that's hiking is going to come here. So the theater's still open, honey. I think. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad we did this and didn't keep it on our list because it's kind of like not so good now with everything closed down. <laughs> And there's the museum. I always loved the museum. Uh, they usually have Native Americans doing grass weaving and stuff, but um, but they don't right now. Hello, hello. And they have their Indian village, which that's the only thing worth going to around here right now. <laughs> really, if you come to the Yosemite Village area, the only thing is their museum. That's everything else is under construction or their visitor center. Huh. Yeah. But they have their Indian village, which you've seen in my other Yosemite uh, vlog. Do you want to go through the Indian village real fast? Is that closed? Oh, no. Let's go. All right. So this is the, the basket weaving and the beads. And this is cool. This has always been... Look at that rifle, or shotgun. That's a rifle. Winchester. Sure. Yeah. Hey, what is this? It's money for us. What? <laughs> it's money for us, just for me. They collected it. <laughs> Let's go over here. It looks like a mirror, but it's not. It's actually a place. <laughs> this is the art. This is where people's art gets put up. Like, you know how like art that we like to do? If you could enter it maybe, who knows? Oh, 
Okay. You're already getting tired. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Indian village now. Sarah used to come in here to do research for her. Um, this is where they have a library upstairs where they do research for archaeology. So she would come up here because my daughter's an archaeologist. Actually, before she went to go get, become a doctor in clinical mental health, she was she graduated from college and became an archaeologist for a couple of years. And decided she wanted to change that career path. So she yeah, had this is where she used to have to come do research. And then the fish camp area, she would do a dig. She had a dig site, she would dig there. But okay, let's look. Check this out. All right. It's really pretty just to walk around. Get our feet a little used to walking a little bit for tomorrow's grand adventure. <laughs> yeah, the movie stuff is still on, but I don't think, or maybe not. They said they were still playing. It would be right up in that way. They have little documentaries that they play. It's a nice break from cold weather in the winter to go in there. Oh, Daddy's behind us. This is where the display complains about the white people. <laughs> I don't think I like that display very much, but... <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> I might cut that part out. <laughs> All right, babe. That's that display. I like the teepees best. Let's go see the teepees. Hey, you don't want to try. Go ahead and push play. Let's hear them. Let's hear. Yeah, let's hear. It's not working. They took it off. Good. Okay. So they must, they turned that recording off. That recording's been on for years. Years, years, years. This is, they say, is an actual sweat house. They're still in use. And they say these are authentic, but the original ones they tore down. <laughs> the ones that I used to go see that rotted away and they replaced them with new ones. They actually have the local tribe that belongs to the them so they can call it original. You know? A long time ago. Yeah. So that's why they still call it original because they have the actual relatives of the originals rebuild them Stuck. that's what I read anyways don't quote me <laughs> hey bit come take a picture with me all right we're at Upper Pines campground and we're site 33 this is full we're checking in that you need an ID upon check-in Make sure you aren't switching sites or selling them, I guess. The river's, like, is it low or non-existent? It's low. Super, super trickly. Trickle, trickle. <laughs> it's going to rain. And the day we leave, it's supposed to rain. So, we uh, got a tarp at the village for, what, $8? 11 by 14 to put under our tent. Alright, 33, so we go past this first loop, so this is what the, on this side this it looks like. Empty. Right. You know, it's so funny how it's empty, but then the, the sites are full. Yeah, that's funny. You know, like you try to reserve, people just reserve things, and then don't cancel, and then everything's left empty, but we're towards the end I like to get the insights because you're not so crowded in with people yeah. I try to <laughs> look at that Aww. and no poopies what 
Little poopies. <laughs> 33. 29. What was that thing? 30. 33. 32, 33, right here. You're getting me turn around. 33. Dad, you're getting me turn around. I have to turn around a bunch of times or something. All right, we're here. Let's set up our stuff. I can't see you now. Hey, the bathroom is right there. But we like our little portable. <laughs> Lisa's not too far away, huh? Hmm. Thirty-three. Where can I get something? Hook things are on the wrong spots. They're in the wrong spots right here. I don't think they're going that one. I think they're going this one. Because it's meant, you know, hasn't been set up first. 
I think. They're all like that. Yeah, that's why it's not spreading, I don't think. It's spreading, it's just gotta... It's not spreading out. For some reason, this, I think this spreads out more. The top, I think the top's just spread out more. Like, telescope out more. Oh, yeah. It's cold there. Yeah. Yeah. There. I'll put that hook right back on there. Before I do put the legs back down. It's a little different. So this one doesn't have, the side ones don't have it? Why do you think this one have it? Because they're long already, that's why I was missing So that one doesn't have it either? Uh-uh. Oh. Alright, so there's two sides that don't have it. And then we put it up. There we go. A little bit different. In the Sam's Club one. tough guys so when you do it like a spider you have to pull these out the top ones goes out and then these go up but there's two what's up with this why is this like that this have to go like that to lean but then what? I'm saying, like... this don't have those this two sides don't have that what's the deal Huh, let's look at the instructions. Ha <laughs> ha. And see. Look at the instructions for what? That's it. There's nothing to do. Maybe they just hang like this. No. Is there another? Is there a tooth thingy on this one? Does it go down another one? Like pull out another part at the bottom? No. What are you talking about? The very bottom? Does no. it? No. Well, what the heck? What's the deal here? You're bought, you bought the shitty... <gasps> Don't cuss, please. Huh, I'm gonna look at the instructions. I bet you it's something simple. All right, well, or it's a defect and we just have to sleep in it and return it. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so you have to have this tent perfectly square for this part to touch the dang ground. And this part won't go on the ground unless you have the back and two front squared yeah, off and now it's straight now it's good hey, so it just takes some good news too I'm gonna put this rain fly on about separately uh, hold on a bit so about that separately we're gonna put that on but that's just easy we're gonna toss it over <laughs> let's go uh, lay down let's go lay down all right I got my tent set up and once you get it set up, it's fine. The only thing about this tent is these things seem kind of flimsy to me. Time will tell there. All right, so it's just like my Sam's Club one, except the roof has no um, netting. So this is perfect for winter. Now our beds are set up the same, except 
I have uh, wool blankets on top of our sleeping bags so we stay nice and toasty. And my table, so let's see, three, I'm, tell, I'm saying maybe three, four, five cots will fit in here if you organize it differently. Cause, and this has a bedroom divider. <laughs> I put a fan up there to circulate hot air down. <laughs> And let me turn this propane off for a minute. All right. So, okay, so we have our propane tank heater here. I put um, a nonstick silicone cooking mat under it just for protection. Uh -huh. So if it fell over, it wouldn't burn my tent, I guess. But it never, it, it never gets the floor hot. I just do that. I'm going to move that back. So this is only tucked in the corner for now, and when it gets dark, we'll put it more right here. And I have a carbon monoxide detector. See? That was a test. You gotta take the battery out again. You keep doing it. Um, I don't know how to do it. Take the battery out, put it back in. Light up the back cover. Light up the back cover. Take the battery out. Huh. All right, we're going to have to... Light up the back cover. Slide the back cover off. Why do you have to take the battery out? To... I don't know. That's just the way I did it. I put the instructions in there. Just take the battery out. I did. Anyways, <laughs> we use it every year, <laughs> so it's like you have to relearn it every year. Um, it says, apartment not, cannot be seen or smelled, uh, but it can warn you if alarm sounds. So I pushed the test. It says, move to fresh air when that happens. Ah. So, anyways, um, I have two of these. So we'll, we always use these, even though I keep... It's ventilated, and see the tops aren't zipped up all the way, so you, you're going to get fresh air. I'll unzip a portion also for fresh air to come in. Always want that. And then we have a fire extinguisher. Always carry that too. So, and there's that. And then Shannon's little table here. And... Okay, well, where's mine? That's your bed over there, bit. Oh. So, yeah, that's how it's set up here. Um, huh. So, what? It's, it works. Uh. It just won't go off after you test it. I'm going to have to read the instructions. I have a second one, too, I'll put on. So, <laughs> I like to be safe. Anyways, um, we have one more. We're going to move this picnic table and another tent put up real fast. All right, so I'm going to set this up. And this is more for like rain or some protection if it ever did rain. So we'll put it right here. Put it right here in front of our tent. My little porch. This is my porch. It's my porch. My porch. You're the yuppiest camper ever. Hey, you don't give me a trailer. What do you expect? If I don't Yippee. have a, hey, this is, I'm not, you you're not a real, you're not a trailer. real, you're not a real camper. Hey, <laughs> I'm not an RVer. Give me an RV. This is, this is look my next, your, look at all your this is my RV. All easy pop-ups. This is my RV. Take 10 minutes. <laughs> this is my, no problem. hey, I don't have to spend money on insurance. Yeah, fake camper. You know what? Yuppie I'm camper. old. I didn't used to do this when I was younger. I know. What happened? But now I'm older. Yeah. Oh, it's string pull, honey. Pull the string. Dude, I, yeah, that's all you, love. I think you handle that one. What? I said pull the that's string. That's a special thing. Push it up. You can, you can do it. It says push it up. You can do it. Push it. You can do it. <laughs> honey. I can't you help, help you. Me. I can't help you. There we go. It says push up. The instructions clearly say push it. Push it real good. There we go. Oh, pull it. It says pull this. There, yay. Wow. <laughs> there. See, look at how easy that is after you struggle for a tiny a smidge. 
What's, what's this again? This is my porch. This is your porch. This is my porch. Alright. I need to store gear under it or whatever. Yeah. If it's raining. We we'll have to go hunting. Why? It's a porch. No, we have to go hunting. Why? But well, we, we wouldn't bring that. I'm not bringing this stuff. No, what are you talking about? Tiny there. All right. This is my porch, guys. Honey, Annie! Go get the poop! Why would why, why would you, you wrap the that around up? that and then lift it over it so it'll Set the poop these? up! What is this for? What is this thing in my hand for? There. There. In my porch. And then we're gonna connect it. We're gonna connect it. this way we'll go this way boom small square square it's supposed to be a wall panel but I'm gonna attach it attach it to my tent because I'm gonna be ninja there hold on there we go all right now and you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go like this. And you're not fine. You're gonna go like this. this porch out like this. Watch. Wow. There. Man, look at you. You have a freaking... You know what you're going to do next? You're going to do a two-story tent. Watch. Huh? <laughs> you're going to do a two-story tent. Look at it. Oh, they have those, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> See, I can do that if I want. <laughs> I don't want. I do that. Just get a cardboard stairs. It'll be golden. No, so you could do that. But I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if I want to do that. That's an example. But it's just a wall for shade. So, in reality, I get a regular tarp and put a tarp over the both of them. Yeah. If it was raining bad. But this gives you a little bit of, like, a, a porch, you know? See? A little porch to put your... Yeah. Your stuff? <laughs> hey, see? Where are we gonna go anyway? Anyways, that's easy. I put it by myself. And if it was raining or snowing, that'd be perfect to dry your stuff off before you went in your tent. No, you can even put that big tent up by yourself. I know. That's yeah, not gonna happen. No, you could. I can. You can try it. Once try I get it. used to it, I will. Try it next time. Two person tent. I mean, you should just try it. Oh, my hands good. hurt. See, right okay. Now, it's up, but I'm saying see, there's my. This is the Coleman test, tent right here. You test yourself to see I love this thing. We've had this. How long? We've had this for six years, seven years, eight years. <laughs> Probably. You could test yourself and try to. Yeah, we've had the, the Coleman tent for like eight years. It's perfect. I love it. But yeah, it's my little porch <laughs> setup. Yeah, you could just drop like stuff off. It'd be nice and dry right that's here. So funny. See, what? stay out of the rain. Oh, I'm going to put the extra flies on and I'll show you. Show you what it looks like after I put the extra. Oh, it's sprinkling. Oh, it's raining and it's, I I just, it's raining. I knew it. I did. I'm so smart. I can't with it. I bought an extra rain for him. So look at this is going to be privacy from the neighbors. That would be awesome if it rained. Huh? I want it to rain. I know. This is our rain cover. See how smart mommy is? Bit. He's so smart. Look at it. A privacy from the neighbors and you can And you can put them up by yourself. And you can put it up by yourself, honey. No, I mean, uh, you should try first. To see. I just did. No, I mean before that. Oh, next, there's next stakes. Time. Okay, stake it down for me. I will in a minute. Okay. 
And look at we can put another privacy on this side, and you can change. You could change your clothes in here if you needed to. Before, that's if you're cool. if you're all wet. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't it? Yeah. It comes with, it comes with those, or? I had to buy extra side, but they came with one side. So you have to get a three size. You can buy three sides. So why don't you get three sides? Because I was why thinking you get, that why if my kids four sides. Because if my kids, we can connect tents together. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. We put another tent here and then yeah. have like a common. Like a, we could do like a maze. A common area. No, we could do a maze and and just forget about putting our beds and stuff in there. Hey. Hey, this came with two. What? No. Yeah, I came with two. Oh my gosh. Oh, cool. Well, I don't need. I don't need them. I only need one. That, yeah. That's so cool. Well, it came with two. Huh? But why? How are you going to get in? <laughs> just lift that up. Oh, you could, huh? You want me to do that? I don't know. Just maybe look at it. Huh. Well, it's, we could use it if we needed to as a tarp, but I wouldn't. It's, I don't think it's waterproof. Like, this isn't waterproof like that. Like, so. You need a tarp to go from here to there. I bet that's water too. Uh, it might be, I don't know. You can put one, another one on the side and on top, like you said. And you don't need a tarp to do what you did before. That yeah, but uh, if it was rainy, it would go into our tent. Sagged, oh. sagged kind of weird. Yeah. So you would have to have a big enough tarp to cover the whole thing. Yeah, you make sure it runs off. Yeah. But I mean, is there in a pinch if you need it, like maybe for shade, if it's super hot, that would work. Well, no, no. Or maybe an extra cover for your foot. Huh? Or maybe an extra cover for your foot. Yeah. But nice little privacy so you can get in and out of your tent without like being right, looking at the neighbor. You know? But then you come out of your tent, the second tent looking at the neighbor, what's the difference? Because people are getting dressed in this one, you can leave it open and no one can stare in. What? <laughs> Where? Yeah, but there's a separator inside the tent. Too. I don't care. <laughs> what? It's just cool. I don't care. What? You be Your making mother, fun of me. Funny. Your mother in her contraptions. I like that. Look at that. It looks like a tent next to a tent. She's so, she's so proud. It's so cool. I like it. It's really good. It's worth the money, guys. Look at that. I'll tell you what, the easy pop-up Doesn't thing, that look good? Well, the easy pop-up tent for sure is worth the money. Yeah. That's the best thing I've ever Yeah. Seen. The Coleman ones are a little bit more difficult. They had the patent on that without releasing it. Yeah. They decided to finally do it. Yeah. Uh, Dad, you just need to stick this down. Now i got to get the porta potty Huh? The wind's going to blow this away. Take this, take this down. No, stake it. No, stake this down. Yeah. I'll stake it down in like of course. 20 minutes. Hey, can you put the pea pot up? The pea pot? Oh, good. Look at it. Here's a nice giant bathroom for you. Look at it. Right here. Bam. What? You, you can poop right here. <laughs> 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 no, Bit needs a privacy bathroom because he takes hours to leave the bathroom when he's doing yeah, stuff. He do that no more. Uh, he, for when he's pooping. Not that long. So it just depends on. It takes like 30 minutes to an hour. It takes a long time. Depends on how he's feeling, you know? Hey, you need to undo this. I am not doing that. Can you please? I, my fingers can't undo that knot. What? What is that? What was that? <laughs> oh. Okay. We're almost done on the home stretch. It's actually not been that long. It's only been an hour since we've been here at camp. Okay. Yep, last thing. Porty for a bit. So... It's just easier, so we don't have to stand there for an hour or a half hour. <laughs> the minimum by the door. <laughs> you can just take a sweet time. Oh, All right, so that's a tent set up. See part two for the rest of our video.
of uh, going to going hiking to and stuff. To going back to <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> going back to Cali. Going back to Cali. I don't think so. Where's the stakes?